Welcome back to a brand new episode of Mastering Programming. In today's episode, I'll be showing you how you can get or request the current logged in user's ID just like this. Now in this example, I'll be showing it by press of a button. So once I click on this button, you can actually see that I have my current user uh, ID and that's the ID that belongs to this user that I'm logged in with right now. This should be a very easy tutorial, but it will also be very beneficial for you if you're planning to do any data handling when it comes to the actual users. Please make sure you do leave a like and a subscribe to this video and consider just turning on the notifications for this channel as well. Let's get started. Welcome back everybody. Now the first thing I'll be doing is I'll actually add a button just like you saw in that first snippet. So I'm gonna go on the add button over here and I'm gonna scroll down to button and then I'm going to click on button over here. And I just want it to be on the side here like this. And then what I'll do is I'll also go ahead and click on add. And then I'm going to click on text. And then I'm just gonna select any random text here. Now this actually, I'm doing this on a website that um, I'm working on for a customer. So this is not like, uh, this is actually going to be a live site and I'm actually needing to use this feature now when I need to access the customer ID and I thought I'll just create a tutorial on it. Now before I move in further, if this looks a little bit different to what's looking for you, that's just because I have developer mode on and you also need developer mode to be turned on if you would like to do any of these cool things that I'm about to show you. So to turn it on, it's completely for free and it's with any subscription on Wix or even if you don't have a subscription. And all you need to do is just hover over dev mode. And for you, this will be turn on dev mode. Once you turn it on, it will just tell you that you're in dev mode. And now you'll get access to all these files here where you can access databases, packages, or code files. And what I'll do is I'm gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna click, oops, I'm going to click on this white bar at the bottom to expand this. And basically right now, this is your pages code. Now, you don't need to worry about anything else written here. All you need to do is you basically need to click on the button, just like this. And then you're going to click on click. Here, you need to give it a name. So let's just say, get, get user ID, just like this. And now we've got a function over here. Now, just really quickly, every time someone clicks on this button, anything inside of these two brackets will run. So for example, right now, if I come over here and I type in something like console.log and then we can say hello there. If I go ahead and go on preview so that we can actually test our code and see if it works. Now, if I go ahead and actually click on button, you can see that every time I click on the button, a hello there will be printed. And that's just exactly what we wanted to do in this situation here because everything inside that those two zigzaggy brackets will run once the button is clicked. Now before we get into getting the customer ID, what I want to show you is how you can actually change the text. So what I'll do is I'm just going to remove this line, I put a dollar sign, I put a hashtag and then here it says text 325. So I'll say text 325. That's the ID of this. And what we can do is we can come over here and say dot text is equal to, and here we can pass anything that we want. For example, hello there. And now what happens is if we click on preview and then click on this, you can see that it changes to hello there. So now we learn how to actually change text. And we also learn how to listen to button actions and how it works. So where to put our code. Now let's just add that final piece of code that will allow us to get the customer ID. Now before anything, well sorry, the current logged in user's ID. Now before I do anything, for this to work, you need to come all the way at the top and you need to type in import and we're going to say Wix users from Wix users. This line, you have to enter it for this to work. And then you need to scroll down. I'm just going to make more space for us to work with. And over here, what I'll do is basically I'll say const user ID is equal to, and then I'll type in Wix users dot current user dot ID. 
And now what I can do is I can actually straight away replace this by putting in user ID. Now let's go ahead and preview this. And if I click on this right now, you can see that that's actually my user ID for this member over here. Now I hope that you actually learned something in this tutorial. I know it was quick, but this can be very helpful because using the customer ID, you can actually query any database and sort of compare which customer or which user, sorry, published what part of that data set or database. So if you enjoyed this episode, please make sure you leave a like. I hope that you already subscribed. If you're not, please make sure you do subscribe to this channel because I post a lot of stuff like this all the time. And please leave me down in the comments what you thought of this video and how I can improve it for another time. Thank you and I hope to see you again in the next episode.